In a borough. I don't know if Renee's going to come in or not, but uh, this is Carol, and we're, I'm going to have a talk with Nene today, and he's going to share some of his ancient knowledge, and uh, everybody needs to listen up if they want to know what's really going on around here. So, Nene, can you go ahead and um, tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And the World Wide Web and Facebook friends and, and relatives out there across the, the Turtle Island and around the world. However, that's it, that we reach your ears. I, I, I come from the Dene, also known as the Navajo Nation, by way of the Lakota Sioux Tribe. I am a full-blooded Dene, and my, my clan is a Twitichini. I am born for the Bitani people. I um, come originally from the stronghold of uh, Tayet, Northern Four Corners area. I'm right now um, talking to you from upstate New York, um, near the imaginary borderline of the U.S. continental state and uh, Canada. And and but what I, what I wanted to share with the with the with the listeners is that. I've been talking with Carol here for off and on through, through the last year, and, and about our human rights and and uh, how it, how it, our lives have been usurped by by the uh, corrupt government, and uh, I wanted to to enlighten the people, the listeners, um, my my knowledge of how the native people have come to hear to the surface of, of what you know as the United States of America. And prior to before it being called the United States of America or the United States Incorporated, it, it, it has and always has been known to the indigenous people, the native people of Turtle Island as Turtle Island. And uh, we believe that we our creation stories have put us here in certain geographic locations on the mass of the turtles back on the turtle island. And uh, we're not in those places anymore because of the forced relocation and the, and the murder and the genocide manifest destiny of the, the, red, the red nations, the, the, the native people. And uh, I, I would say that our, our creation stories and I've talked to anthropologists, and I have uh, evidence of of our creation stories. How far it, how far it dates back to it, at the beginning of creation as we know it. But it's, I'll, I'll I'll say it's over fifty thousand years old, where we say that we were um, washed up, forced to move from the the world before here. And uh, we we crawled through the reeds and we crawled through water that was flooding us to where we are today, meaning that it came from sometime around the ice age and the floods. And, and we would come to the surface here with an understanding that there was no other place for us to go. 
that this would be the final frontier, that we're not going nowhere else, that this is it, and that we needed to get get our shit right. And, and so the great spirits and, and, the, and the deities, the holy ones, the, the, the light and dark and, and came down and, and pre-planned us to be here as as we were coming through this this evolution to the, to this to to come to this surface, and at this at this surface, we seen that there were plants here, there was water all around us, there were birds flying in the sky, and we saw the great blue sky, and and we we emerged to to here to this landmass. And and once we came out of the hole, we, and all these animals that were with us below, we we they came up with us also, and we brought some of the plants with us also that we had used before, some of the medicines, and some that were already here, but on this earth, as as we were first seeing it, this earth was beautiful and um, full of life. There was no human kind here. There was no man or woman here. No five-fingered people. No two-legged. Only only the animals and the plants were here long before the the, 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 the man and the woman came here. And, and so about this time that, that when we get here, we're, we're instructed to to go into a sweat, sweat lodge to purify ourselves and to cleanse ourselves of all the the uh, sickness that we went through and inflicted among our among on each other in the world before, so all we wanted to we were instructed to cleanse ourselves and, and purify ourselves and uh, smoke the, the tobacco and, and, and sit with these animals that were already here, and and these animals already have a hierarchy. And and the, and the winged ones that meaning the birds they have a hierarchy, the the uh, the crawlers that the, they have a hierarchy, worms, snake people, and also the fish they have a hierarchy of of their rule uh, here on this earth. When we got here, and we were allowed to come to the surface, and and, and also we saw the plants. There were some we brought with us, but most of them some they were already here. So these these plant life and these medicine life, the, the herbs, they were here also, and also with the hierarchy and with with anecdotes for the animals and different things that they needed for when they get sick, or, and that they would be able to eat these certain plants and, and they would take care of themselves because they've been here long before us. And each one was met with some type of a, a healing quality for, for each of these animals. And, and here we came along with our, our tobacco and our, and our few possessions, corn and, 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 and all the sisters, the squash beans. And, and, and we, we arrived here on this earth and, and uh, we were instructed to go into this sweat lodge. We call it a kache. And in this kache, we, we sit with darkness and we sit with light and we sit with the beings of these... The, the, the chiefs, the hierarchy, the highest of these animals, they're, they're men and they're women, and we, we go into purify with them, and they instruct us of who they are, their their positions, and, and this is the instructions of, we go to this animal, we go to that animal, or we, we, we're put here with certain animals to to give us guidance while we're, we're here, so we, we would um, ask these certain animals if we needed this, or and the plants also showed themselves that we would use this plant to pray in this type of a lodge. We would smoke this and we would eat this and we would survive this way here on on this earth, which we call Shema, S-H-I-M-A, Mother Earth. And, and, and with the instruction, final instruction is that, that, that we would take care of this water we would take care of this earth mother and its surface and all of its swimmers, all of the fish, all the crawlers, all the the, the, the worms, snake will take care of all the animals, the four legged will take care of the, uh, the 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 winged ones and we will respect them and we will protect them with our lives to with our last breath. 
and this is where we're at today, and this this creation story is what we're still using today here on on Turtle Island. We we go into this sweat lodge and we make sure I myself speak for myself that I make sure that I go into these sweat lodges and that I crawl back into my mother earth and I tell her and I sit there with the rocks and the grandfathers and, and I tell them that I'm I'm doing my best to, to hold to the agreement, the original agreement here on Mother Earth. I see all the destruction. I see all my people out here lost their way. I know the story of the great flood. I know how many times it flooded before and who came to save who, which animal saved who. And we're at that place now in in in, in our timeline here in, in, in the Gregorian calendar or if you want the 13 moon calendar or whatever calendar that you're on right now, but you're at that time right now where there might be or could be this next shaking and there will be a, um, a cleansing because the native people lost their way, meaning the women have been stripped of their authority and, and it has caused the world and, and, and the native people to lose their their authority, to lose their guidance. And, and, and the, as the Dene, as a Dene people and as a Lakota people, we have this, this type of story that we evolved, came through the earth's surface to be here. And we use this inipi, this this sweat lodge, this kache, and we make sure that we are holding on to this teachings and this agreement. I don't know what what everybody else is doing in in, in their tribes and in their communities, but I'm trying my best and and I, 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 to hold to the agreement and to share this lodge and to share the information to the ones who who are open to it and can understand it. That that the native people were put here with this understanding that it is a divine right that we are here and we're only put here by the gods, only by the the, the yins, only by by Wonka Tatanka. We're only we're only put here by by the gods, not in in, in, in the beings before us. We're not here. We didn't force anybody and play kill everybody off and, and to try to take over land. No, we, we, we believe that we are here by a divine right, by being placed here under these constellations and told to hold that and take care of that section of the turtle's uh, shell. And I have the turtle, picture the turtle's mask. And so the story that I speak of is over 50,000 years old. And, and while we evolved to this land and the other masses of, of land and over the waters, that there were other people created, other types of people created, which they, those ones that would be more like what you know as a homo sapien. The homo sapien has a different shape of head, different, different genetics. It has a watermelon head. It has a cone head. It, it, it doesn't... Uh, believe in the nature like the Neanderthal, but it, it's created to take out the Neanderthal and take this land from from her and him and and uh, just drill it or whatever they're doing right now. And, and that would be the, the second type of, of man. Then there's the third type of man that does not want to be identified and will not admit it at all is, is this one that we're dealing with right now. The that has no fire. He doesn't care about fire at all. He doesn't care about water. He doesn't care about a tree or a plant or a bug or any of the things that the Neanderthal cares about. He, this, this third type of man and woman is one that doesn't have no no regard for for anyone else except themselves. And it will be a, a geo-engineered, genetically engineered man. The one that has no fire, one that doesn't care about fire, one that doesn't know how to light a fire, doesn't know how to rub two sticks together, doesn't know how to do it, he doesn't know. He he might plug in, in a an electric appliance to make it look like 
he has fire, but that's probably about as close as the, this geo-engineered humanoid. So you'll see humanoid like a robot. That's all he's 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 for, and he's and his instructions and his makeup DNA is to kill the Homo sapiens and finish off the Neanderthal, and that's what what we're dealing with today. Is is is. Exactly. Well, and this is true because there, you know, you were talking to me about lighting the fire, and and the sweat lodge and the artifacts, and and people, the the, the way has been lost, and there are people out there that aren't even aware of this. Now, what some of them might compare this to, but this is something he probably got from ancient knowledge was the. Greek philosopher Plato talked about the allegory of the cave where everybody was looking at the blank wall and the fire was behind them. They weren't turned to the fire. They were looking at the shadows and mesmerized, almost like watching a TV set. So so yes. I, I, I've read some of the books that were written back then and they, they, categor- they cataloged everything, including the Indian bloodline. And they they came here to conquer. They came here to rule the world. Uh, and yes. there is great greed, and it's insatiable. And and there's lots and lots of things going on that that uh, that make all of this true. They were going on in uh, after the the World War II. That I suspect, and from what the people I've spoken with, that nobody ever signed the peace treaty. So. Um, they had these experiments going on in different islands. We're drinking the heck out of plastic, uh, packaged plastic products. Um, there's there's a lot of, uh, like the Zika virus they're talking about. L- let me tell you, the Zika virus is carried in flea medication for animals. I bet they don't put that out on their little warnings and when they're getting federal funding for the Zika emergency. So you've got to be careful when you touch your animals too because there's a hint of the Zika virus in the medicine that you're putting on your dog's backs. So we're not being very good stewards, you're correct. So I just wanted to add that in there so that other people that aren't aware, like I wasn't, that, you know, you can compare this same thing to this, that they came here to change and to conquer your the land that you were stewards of, and they killed the buffalo. They cataloged everything, and they saw it as an opportunity and not to be good stewards, it was to to rule the world. Right. Yes. And and, and so like like the constellations in the sky, there, there's a number of constellations in, 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 in the in, in the universe and when you when you're on Turtle Island and, and you look up at night that there, there's certain constellations above you every night. Well we we were placed underneath certain constellations and, and we were told to take care of that section of that place and we would pray to these certain stars and we would pray with those stars and pray to the sun, the moon and, and all its creation and we would earn our way back up to where our relatives are. We are only here for a minute. And we're doing our best to earn our way up there, back up to the star nation, back up to our relatives. And on the turtle that Judson shared with me, the 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 artwork of the turtle, it shows a, a wheel of, can you explain that wheel? You told me about it before, but can you tell the listeners what that wheel symbolizes? Um, if, it, if it's the circle with the four... Yes. Four directions on it. Okay, it, it, we call that a, a medicine wheel, or, or uh, the, the the wheel it mean, represents the circle of life, and the directions meaning the four directions: east, south, west, north, and and the colors in the in the corner in the colors of them. One is red, and then below it would be yellow, and then to the left of that would be white, and then up above next to the red would be black. And, and that would signify the, the the color of the race of of man, 
the, the red is the, the red nations, the, the, the native people. The yellow being the color, uh, it would be the Asian people. And the white for the white, white uh, nations, white tribes. And the black for the black tribes. And, 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 and the eggs in the middle and, and that meaning that we're all connected, we're all related. At one time, before all this corruption started, we, we all believed in, in the same sun and the same moon. We all wished, prayed to it to come up and, and go down and the moon and the stars and, and, the, and the water and the air and the fire. We, we, we were close with nature. We, we kept to the, to the agreement and then this, these things happened here. Where these, these people were created to come along and and, uh, and X is thing. a feminine a, fe, a feminine sign. X is a a sign of feminine. I can't say that word right. Feminine. It, it's a, it's a um, for a woman. Um, X right. is is a ancient symbol for that. That's what I in my research has led me to believe. Right. More Y. More and mm -hmm. Y and X chromosomes. Yes, mm -hmm. is what the as what the Neanderthal is, uh, and the Neanderthal are the closest to to what was the original Neanderthal. That's why and we're they were still, they we're dwelled still, they dwelled in caves, correct? They they took shelter. Right, right. We're still praying to the same. We're still stuck there, uh, caring about the earth and the sky and the sun and the moon and the stars. And and and, and apparently these Homo sapien and this. Uh, Geoengineer been trying to kill us for a long time, and, and we've been living through it. Last recent attempt, twenty six thousand years, and waiting for it to to wait for the stars and, and and alignments in the sky to usurp us once again to try to finish us off and take over the whole world. And, and that was in, in uh, two thousand twelve or in. Uh, Titoacan in, in, in Guatemala, my, my, where the, there was a, a an alignment, and, and they, were, they had been waiting for a long time, 26,000 years, and there are more people that have more extensive knowledge about this. I'm just telling the, the top of what I what I know, and, and, and so from then on, it was been mandated from the World Council of Fires to return all stolen land to the native people. You're not gonna get it again. You're not going to you're not going to rule the world. It's not going to happen. Not right now, not in this time. But they will continue on with this shit that they're doing right now. It's continuing on trying to chip people and and uh, control the masses. And, and that World Council on Fire, look, can we talk about that for a moment? Because that's very important. You were talking about the blood. And there's there's a lot, there's 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 information about this out there. On the right. sweat lodges and the World Council on Fire and the bloodline and how they right. wanted to adulterate the bloodlines and uh, um, so the World Council of Fires is more like probably where all the indigenous people, native people, come together and the ones that are spiritually connected, the ones that know what's really going on. They have they have a fire and, and, they, and that fire is. Is, it's already been mandated to the United Nations and to, to the United States to return all original inhabitants back to those places that they were moved from because they know that we're supposed to be holding that connection from that constellation and those native people are supposed to be back under those constellations or this world explodes or whatever it's doing right now. The turtle is reacting. That's what's mm -hmm. happening. It's out of balance. The native people are not in place where they're supposed to be. And they've been mur they've been murdered and buried underneath the churches. So the church is sitting under those power places. Portals, stargates. And they have they have is it twelve um Native babies buried under the Catholic Church there on that Turtle Island. Well, I mean they bury they bury they'll bury a number of children. Not, okay. They, they even got to make a book of the dead. They got to bury the truth, and I'm telling you the truth right now. Well, I believe you. 
Yeah, I mean, that that's what it means. The truth is what I'm telling you right now. So for them to set up a corporation with corruption and taxing people in a 501c3 Catholic church doing business as Franciscus or Cardinal Franciscus from the Rome Vatican here on Turtle Island, they have to bury the truth, meaning somebody like me that knows what the hell's going on or an innocent child or innocent children and innocent babies. And they have to put these names, and they got to get these names and, and put them in the Book of the Dead. And then, and then here's your corporations. I got one right here that, that's a Catholic church right here called the St. Regis Mohawk Tribal Catholic Church. And it's full of Knights of Columbus, Knights of Malta, of Rome, and, 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 and a lot of Iroquois with blue eyes and, and, and blonde hair and, and everything else. That They know what they're doing here. They know... The shit's about to hit the fan right here, and the people are knowing what's happening right now. I'm telling the truth, and, and I'm not, I have nothing to hide. I've been living the truth, trying to tell the truth, trying to get it to the people who, who have an open mind to, to listen. And, and, and it's, my, it's the only life jacket I can throw out there anymore is the truth. That there's your life jacket. Accept the truth, and, and how high does the water have to rise for you to bow to accept this truth right here? That this is how the native people are here on Turtle Island. We didn't. We, I didn't wash up from Asia. I didn't wash up from wherever else. Maybe that's somewhere fifty thousand years that I don't know about right now. But right now, the way I know the story is I came out from emergence, and it's it's northern Colorado, uh, northern New Mexico, and border Colorado. There's a place there you can go research it yourself. And then over there in the Lakota, they say they came from uh, from the center of the world also, the Black Hills. Black Hills. So, so I mean, we we all have a, our creation story of, of where we came from, and if we're not at those places where we emerged from. That's why the world is so off right now and unbalanced. And native people are either all murdered or buried under Walmart or under that church over there in, at, at Syracuse or over there in, in New York, New York. Or they're buried all the way down to the floor. They're, they're also mm-hmm. being used in other ways. So there's an SPC-038 or 053. Um, it's a, it's something that's going on that's kind of universal. It involves a EUCLID. Euclid is what I want to say. Oh, and, and <laughs> well, now, there's a lot of uh, evil going on, <clears throat> and it's not hidden anymore. In the darkness, uh, we don't need anyone like these people to protect anyone because they're not protecting. They're raping and pilfering, and 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 uh, and they're trying to bring about a. Um, uh, they're trying to bring about their own type of a second coming that dates back to um, a very organized religion. So they're trying to self-fulfill their own prophecy, and it's not in—it's not in line with nature. It's—it's it's not in line with with Mother Earth. It's—it's it's in line with their own agenda, and that is to conquer the world. And I do believe that, and and I believe you. And I thank you for sharing that information. This um, Benjamin Franklin I saw last night. I was looking at reading the the book at the Library of Congress, but I was also looking at what Benjamin Franklin had done by cutting up the snake and cutting off its head, and he tried to make it, they did a drawing that de- depicted this, and then they showed this Potomac River. So you were talking to me about the turtle and how they're trying to bring in the bear. Can you can you go into that so that people, because people will understand this part, I'm fairly certain now, with with the symbolism in these countries and what they're trying to do with the turtle's head. Can you share that, oh. Nene? Well, to, to, when you when you are in and even in a street fight, if you're out there on the street and you get in a fight and you hit somebody's head, you can pretty much drop them. You might knock them out. And you might you might kill him. You might knock him out. You might he'll fall though, or you might you might take a few hits. But if you keep hitting the head or you get get its head, it'll drop the body. But that's the same idea as what's happening here on Turtle Island. It has a body, it has legs, and it has a head. Well, right now, they're fucking the head, meaning they're, they're 
under occupation of this Vatican and, and the way they're showing that they have this occupation here is by putting a, a Catholic church run by the Vatican and it, and it has a Duns number on it to Cardinal Franciscus and it is right here on the tip, right on the tip nose of the turtle's head. And then they put an imaginary line right on the neck of it and said that the head is over there on Canada now and that the body, the rest of the body is over here on the USA side. But I'm saying now there's no such thing. It's all one one body. Where's where's this line at? It's an imaginary line. There's no there's no fucking line there. It's just imaginary. Right. But the people here that are under this spell or don't want to wake up or don't are just going along with shit go by this this shit that there really is an imaginary line there. And and they're not doing shit about it and then down the block a little ways is what's called the red oak. And and this red oak is serving as a Masonic base similar to the white oak in Canada or Oak Island in in, in the Vatican in, 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 in Italy. And the Vatican and, is the there are three crown cities to this uh, domination of the world, and the uh, Washington D.C. is actually the uh, fi- uh, the military um, arm. It represents that, and London, England, represents the banking side, and the Vatican represents the political religious side, because all the laws that these that they brought over are canon canon laws. So they Thomas Jefferson so wrote a letter about it. That, it was set up to uh, to set up the law over here to keep everybody in line. So right now at at, at this place, because and again I'll, I'll remind that it's called Turtle Island, and the first authority belongs to a turtle clan, and in the animal kingdom it belongs to a turtle, the grandmother turtle. So if you see a turtle walking around on the road, this is her land. She's the oldest. She owns this land. It's hers. She's the turtle in the human. She was here before human. She was here. This is hers, Turtle Island. Then in the plants also, they were here. The, 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 the highest hierarchy that we know, that I know, is, is the white pine tree. And in different sections, different different things are, are, are growing. But the pine tree is probably the, the white pine is probably the highest hierarchy of the of the of the tree life. And then the plant life first plant would be tobacco and then on down the line, food chain, corn, squash, beans. These are the main food lines and there's hierarchies of them. And and they're so, they're they're um they're they're uh geoengineering all the food now to where it's it's uh, not right. Right. Yeah, so, so yeah. You're, seeing what, you're seeing what I'm saying. It's the same, the third person, the third type of people that's doing this. Okay. The, and, the, and the way you can know what type of people is, let's go out to the woods and see if you can light a fire, Carol. You know how to do it. I mean, well, all that's all I got to do is, is observe uh, observe these communities, who's who and what, what they're doing and how they're running their communities and, and they, you know, in our, I, I was, uh, into, I had something going on. I told you about the other night, but I, I lit a fire. Do you know that in in our city they want to say something to you about having a fire? Is that something that they wanted to put out all the fires? You're right, and that's what the Great Spirit is looking for: are those fires. Where's the fire at? You know, mm-hmm. who is still cooking with the fire? Who's still kneeling and praying at the fire? Who's still holding the agreement? I mean that's for that's for the native people. The native people need help to get back to there. Okay, that's that's the reason I come on this show because we do need help to come our native people to come back to the fire, mm-hmm. come back to and the to come not back be, to the fire because that's be your, so. that's your only that's your only salvation is if these native people can get back to the places that they're supposed to be 
originally where their uh, creation comes from if they don't get back to those places. That's where they, they were already mandated to do this and nobody moved. Nobody did anything. The USA sure didn't do nothing. They well, didn't say, hey, let me move the Cherokees all back over there. Let me move the, the, this tribe back over there. Let me move all and kick this church out of there. Let me, nobody has done that shit. And, 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 and they got everybody, even the native people, to, to be dead fictitious entities right now. And, the, so, and all their fires are out. So the great spirit's looking down and saying, you, there's, there's hell to pay for this. You did this shit to the people I put there to take care of this land. They're my, right. they're my people. And that's what you're feeling right now. All this volcano, all this earthquake, all this hurricane, tornado. The Pope already dug into the ground. The Queen's already in the back in the ground. They, and, uh, well, and, the, they, and, 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 and the Great Spirit can't see no fires lit. He can't see them. It, there's no fires going. So here comes the flood. Here comes the, 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 the uh, natural disasters. Here comes it all. And, everybody, and, and, and it's no problem. Everybody's happily dead, fictitious entities anyways. Running around as capital letter names. In a virtual reality world, is a virtual world that they have a game going on here, and that's a, that's a fact. Well, that is a fact, is, just like the, what you're talking about is a fact. It's a fact. They got a virtual. These are Python gamers. This that is are about as evil as they can get. Would, that everybody would be go ahead and be dead fictitious entities. It, it'll cleanse. And they hope that they, they come back out in power. And that's why they built all these underground tunnels, all this shit. And they're ready for it because they know they're going to be, that this is going to come. They just want to make sure that they're in power when the water goes down. I'm saying make sure that your listeners and that the people who have the ears and the, and the conscience, that if we are survivors, and we live through this that you're going to know the truth. And this is the truth, what I'm sharing with you. There's your life jacket. And we light the fire. Light and we the fire. We... Come back to land. Come back to the land. There's your life jacket. Quit floating around out there in maritime and admiralty. Because you're not. You're on land. You're on Turtle Island. Because you're claiming this as a United States corporation, you're going to be stuck out there no matter how hard you fight for that constitution. Remember those wars, the patriots, what they're, they're calling themselves patriots, the ones who bloodied their hands. Even my relatives, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, my, my, my own father, I grew up fatherless because they touched these guns and they went to these wars, took an oath to the United States Constitution of America, not to the real Constitution for. They didn't even fight for their own their own people. They fought for a whole corporation, McDonald's, Walmart, all the shit that we're fighting right now. Tax. Okay. So, so even there, I mean, that the people have to realize that there's no Constitution right now. It's over. It's done. There's no Constitution. The two row wampum has been broken since it was made because of that church that's sitting on the tip nose of the Turtle Island right here. And, that's and how long fact. has that church been there, Nene? Well, I, I, I'll, I'll post that picture here for you. I can't remember the date on it. but It's okay. But... It's, so like 1600, 1500. Okay, something like that. 1700, 1600, but it, it looks like it's been added on and been fixed up before and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. But that's that, that's how I can tell you that the two row wampum treaty has been broken ever since that church was put there. The two row wampum treaty has been broken. The great law of peace has been broken for that long. And by and the, the other night, I lit a fire and I kept it going all day until I had to leave my, leave this place. But nice. um, I kept it going and I'd throw a piece of wood on it and you and I took tobacco and would put it on there. And it would poof up with some smoke, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh-huh. I mean, uh, this is this is this is something that uh, uh, 
people need to understand that you've been taking – they came over and said, for one thing, from what I'm – my research, and I'm going to research it more, and I'm a pretty good researcher, I'll tell you that right now. And let me tell you, what they're writing about is that they came over to infiltrate your very way of life and to – to to make these savages, and they lied about that because it's written about that nobody was a savage except for them. That's a fact. And the Roanoke Island and, and various writings in the early, they were talking about all what all you had to give to England, what all you had to give to them, and how they wanted to take the land. And they then they came over. And they demonized and called everybody savages when it wasn't it wasn't true. Is that's what I'm reading in their own research in their own words. And they had all of the bloodlines that went clear back to the England Doomsday Book that Judson talks about in the Library of Congress and the Smithsonian Institute were writing about the various bloodlines. This is not in a doll's registry. This is in their own writings clear back. They have track of everything, including all of the Caucasians and all of the black people, the Asians, the the wheel of color they want to keep from uniting. Is that would that not be their one of their agendas? They want to have a race war. Well, I've I've been told that the colors of these of this medicine wheel that everybody comes from four four corners of the world of the world. I I encourage but to find their creation stories, how they got here. How? What's your creation story? How do you believe your your lineage? How do your people get here? Are you to the white tribes, the black tribes, or the the red tribes? Are you? How are you here? Which one are you? Which type of people? This, this is two moms on a burrow. I don't know if Renee's going to come in or not, but uh, this is Carol, and we're I'm going to have a talk with Nene today, and he's going to share some of his ancient knowledge. And uh, everybody needs to listen up if they want to know what's really going on around here. So, Nene, can you go ahead and um, tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Yes, good afternoon. And the World Wide Web and Facebook friends and, and relatives out there across the, the Turtle Island and around the world. However, that's it, that we reach your ears. I, I, I come from the Dene, also known as the Navajo Nation by way of the Lakota Sioux tribe. I am a uh, full-blooded Dene, and my, my clan is a uh, Twitichini. I am born for the Bitani people. I um, come originally from the stronghold of uh, Tseyet, northern Four Corners area. I'm right now um, talking to you from upstate New York, um, near the imaginary borderline of the U.S. continental state and uh, Canada. And, and but what, I, what I wanted to share with the with the with the listeners is that I, I've been talking with Carol here for off and on through, through the last year, and, and about our human rights and and uh, how it how it our lives have been usurped by by the uh, corrupt government and uh, I wanted to, to enlighten the people the listeners um, my my knowledge of how the native people have come to here to the surface of, of what you know as the United States of America and prior to before it being called the United States of America or the United States Incorporated, it's, it, it has and always has been known to the indigenous people, the native people of Turtle Island as Turtle Island. And uh, we believe that we, our creation stories have put us here in certain geographic locations on the mass of the turtles back on the Turtle Island. And uh, we're not in those places anymore because of the forced relocation and the, and the murder and the genocide manifest destiny of the, the, red, the red nations, the, the, the native people. And uh, I, I would say that our, our creation stories, and I've talked to anthropologists and I have uh, evidence 
of of our creation stories how far it, how far it dates back to uh, at the beginning of creation as we know it. But it's I'll I'll, I'll say it's over fifty thousand years old where we say that we were um, washed up, forced to move from the the world before here. And uh, we we crawled through the reeds and we crawled through water that was flooding us to where we are today, meaning that it came from sometime around the ice age and the flood. And, And we would come to the surface here with an understanding that there was no other place for us to go that this would be the final frontier, that we're not going nowhere else, that this is it, and that we needed to get get our shit right and, 